uh, GameCube. And but it also came out on the PS2. I know it came out on the PS2 because I have a copy sitting on my shelf here. So instead of um, playing this on the Dreamcast or the PS2, I don't have this for the Dreamcast, but I do have it on PS2. But I decided to play it on my PS3, so we can enjoy the HD goodness for use at home. So this th basically this game should have been Resident Evil 3. But because it was on a different console, they went with Code Veronica X. Well, it was originally Code Veronica. Code Veronica X is basically the HD release for... I think uh, it was called Code Veronica X also on the PS2. But yeah, so basically the, the, how it goes is... Um, in the Resident Evil titles, there was Resident Evil 1, 2, and 3... Uh, three was more of a side story, but it was given the the moniker three for the series. So this game, sh this game, for all intents and purposes, should have been called three, but they didn't call it four either. So this is kind of like a side story. But at the same time, this is the I think I believe this is the last Resident Evil traditional Resident Evil game because in Resident Evil Four they went with the over the shoulder. You know, um, they went with the over the over the shoulder uh, camera angle with that one, and they changed the way Resident Evil games are played from then on out. But let us play Code Veronica. I've never actually played through this game. Create new save data. Sure, why not? We are beginning fresh, anew. Save complete. All right, so let's take a look at the options here. I just want to see if there's vibration screen settings. Okay, um, monitor tuning. Okay, I guess there's no subtitles option. I always try to look for those there. Okay, new game. Uh, sign in now, start the game. Yes. Resident Evil. Resident Evil. So this story takes place right after Resident Evil 3. I think that's Wesker narrating. Three months later. Three months later. Still has the TV style. Your identification oh. number is WKD4496. Welcome to your new home. The cutscenes are in 30 frames per second. Name is Claire Redfield. <laughs> we caught her trespassing in our Paris lab facility 10 days ago. She apparently infiltrated the complex looking for her lost brother, Chris Redfield, one of the surviving members of RPD's famous Stars team. I don't remember the intro looking this choppy. Very action movie right here. Seems looking very rough here. Oh, they're pulling a John Woo here.
Who the heck was that guy? Kaboom. Hmm. Casey's locked up now. What is going on? If I were equipped with a lighter, I could see outside. Okay. Okay, hold on. Before I continue, I need to double check a... Uh, I need to double check the sync um, sound for this recording. Okay, looks good. Good. I was a little worried that... Um, my recording might have went off because I had to exit out of this, um, out of the game and re-enter, and so there was some resolution switching. Sometimes when that happens, uh, especially when I'm playing on my PS3, the sound will sometimes lag. So it's something I gotta keep aware of. So we have a plane manual. Let's check this out. Everything is so HD. Look at this. Plane manual. Check all items. When you obtain a new item, always remember to look at it with the check command on the status screen. Remember, it's always best to rotate the item so you can check it from different angles. Okay, try to push objects. If you face an object and then press and hold the up button, sometimes you will be able to push it. You may find hidden rooms in items this way. Hmm. Use the quick turn. You can turn 180 degrees instantly by pressing X while holding the down button. This is a very effective move when you attack an enemy and you want to turn around and run. Huh, okay, so I guess it's not square anymore. Use the map screen. I guess the button layout is a little bit different because um, this was originally a Dreamcast game. Okay, when you are lost or unsure of what to do, check the map screen. You can easily tell where you've never been and can see where, which doors you have unlocked. <clears throat> Climb and descend. You can climb and descend some objects. To do this, face the object and then press square. Security boxes. Oh, that's what they're called. I was calling them tickle trunks for the past few games. Or trunks. The items you store in a security box in the prison area cannot be accessed through an item box. Make sure you remove all important items from a security box before exiting a room. Yeah, okay. Sounds good. Okay, now we are going to have to... Well, oops. Okay, it's a little dark in here, so let's take a look around here. Uh, oh, yeah, we're supposed to use... Whoops. How do I get... Triangle? No, that's the map button. Start. Okay. That's weird. Okay, let's use... Ah! It's a gym teacher. I don't know, he looks like a gym teacher. He's like wearing a tight white shirt and I thought he was wearing joggers at first. No, I had the impression he was wearing joggers because of a, the, the, sh the white shirt. chance of getting off this island and what about you what are you going to do don't worry about me hmm 
Let's talk to him again and see what he says this time. His eyes are closed. He's bleeding. I'll need a uh, hemostatic medicine. Okay, do I, um... <clears throat> so what do I do here? Okay, I gotta... The button placements are a little bit different in this game, so I gotta remember what buttons to press. So square is usually is what was X, and X is the run button. Yes. Taking the handgun bullets. A green plant. Green herb. You know, I was uh, you know when I remember I first uh, time heard I first heard about Code Veronica, I was disappointed that it was coming out on the Dreamcast and you know not anywhere else at the time. <clears throat> it wasn't until a couple years later that uh, it came out on other platforms. A list of prisoners and my name is at the end. <laughs> WD WKD forty four ninety six Chris uh, Claire Redfield. The escort's name is at the end of the document. Umbrella Medical Paris third security unit leader. Rodrigo Juan Ravel Ravel. That must be him. Take the combat knife. Yes. And. I think we should uh, equip it for now. Okay, I guess we should... Uh, oh, this, this new button placement is messing me up here. Okay, uh, I guess we'll have to use this for now. <clears throat> okay, it's a little weird using the square button to pick up and use things. Cool. We were only given one? Look at this. You only get one. Okay, that just makes the game a little bit harder. So, since we just started, we will not use the ink ribbon. Okay, handgun bullets. Okay, we should be coming across a handgun very shortly. For now, I'm going to just take my... Take it easy here. Okay, I'm going to say that this game's not going to be as hard as... Resident Evil 3. Man, that game was hard. Like, even though I was left with extra ammo towards the end, just um, the amount of um, times I've died, it just... I forgot how many times I died. I'm guessing maybe 20 times. Give or take that uh, number. A truck used for transport. Oil is leaking from the crash wreck. A dead body in a briefcase can be seen inside. Can we get inside? No, it doesn't look like it. Hmm. Oh. It's a zombie. The first one... The first one we see of the game. The graphics are pretty good, actually. So used to playing re uh, 30, PlayStation 1 Resident Evils that jumping to this one is actually pretty easy on the eyes now. You can see f face acting. Oh! So there's a briefcase we gotta come back for later. Like when we have weapons to use. Oh, what's going on? Wait, wait. Don't you 
don't you? Who are you? Huh? You're not a zombie. Well, great. Wait right there. I'm coming over. Sounds like he's 14 years old or something. Uh, sorry about that little misunderstanding. But I thought you were another one of those monsters. Shut up. Make one wrong move and I'll shoot. Relax, beautiful. I said I was sorry. My name's Steve. I was a prisoner on this island. And I'm guessing you're not from Umbrella either. No, I'm Claire. Claire Redfield. Claire? Hmm. Nice. I'll remember that. Hey, I heard there's an airport around here. But once I find it, I can finally escape from this crazy island. Well, I'll see ya. Hey, wait up! I don't want you following me, lady. You'll only slow me down. What an annoying kid. You've taken the handgun. You know, I noticed something about Steve there. They changed the way his face looked because I remember when um I remember when I was watching my buddy play uh this game on his Dreamcast, uh, he Steve looked a lot like Leonardo DiCaprio, I think like from I think it was because Titanic was such a a big hit around that time. They kind of make uh, some characters look sort of like something you, somebody you see in the movies. Okay, but Steve looks a little bit more, a little bit different now. But that doesn't, no big deal. Okay, uh, and, and another another thing that would uh, that what I found very interesting about this game when I first played it is like, look at the backgrounds. Look, nothing is pre-rendered. Everything is polygonal, and that was. Uh, that was a big uh, leap, apparently, a dust box, okay. That was a big leap in graphics, like I was like thinking, I was remember I was real impressed with the graphics because nothing was pre-rendered anymore. Okay, we'll take some more handgun bullets. He's not breathing. Truck used for transport, looks like it crashed into the wall. Let's take a look at our map here. Wait, wow. The map is triangle now. Okay. Looks like we can't go through there, but let's check it out anyway. This is the central gate of the prison. It's locked. A hawk's picture is carved into the hollow. Okay. This game is a little bit dark. Okay, so where should we go? Okay, the previous, the previous area has a bunch of zombies there, so I'm not going to go there just yet. Here. Okay, I gotta get used to the... It's been completely nailed down. It's impossible to open it. Okay, let's go through this way here then. We will go back to those zombies once we have have more ammo. At least something better. Where are we? Okay. It's been locked with a padlock. Hmm. Okay. Let's go this way. There's nothing here. Abandoned materials are piled up here. Nothing useful. Hmm. Okay, abandoned materials. Oh. Okay, there's something under there. Hmm. It's been locked from the other side with a padlock. It can't be opened from this side. Whoops, there's a door here. Okay, I wasn't ready. I'm not ready to go through this door yet. I want to. Okay, we'll come back here. I want to go inside that house there that I walked around. Okay, so here we are with a brand new Resident Evil adventure. Oh, dogs! They have yellow eyes now. Okay, let's go inside the house. Oh, thank goodness they can't climb stairs. 
Oh. Ah, get off. Ah, get, 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 get off. Okay. Okay, that's one clip already. Man, that was a pretty wooden fall. Half-eaten food items are scattered in this area. Okay, oh, more bullets. Thank goodness they're kind of shining. Walk right past by them. I guess they make them stand out now that because uh, everything is polygonal and it could, it, items can easily blend it, blend into the background now because with uh, static uh, pre-rendered backgrounds you can easily see an item that's pre that that is polygonal placed in the scenery. Okay, this toilet has rather disgusting stains. A horrible smell lingers. Okay, what is this? Nothing useful here. Okay, since there is no more zombies, let's use our lighter. Nothing useful here. It seems that someone didn't finish their soup. It's still a bit warm. Oh, take the what? Prison map. Oh, okay. Okay, there's a few areas to explore. Um, okay, we are currently... Yes, we are currently in this house here. It is too bad that I can't have both the light source and the gun. Okay, these guys are dead. Yeah, definitely dead. Hopefully they're not going to get up like they, <clears throat> they are doing... They did in the remake. Another green plant. Yes. I gotta get used to using the square button all the time. Hmm. Yeah, everything's so light lit, lit up now. I mean, like, light source really makes a difference in uh, playing, this, playing a game. Oh. I think I better pull out my gun. Okay, what is this? Prisoner's Diary. This room stinks of death. Based upon the information I found, I believe that I'm far south of the equator. Lucky for me that Bob in the bunk below me is one of those interesting types of guys. Today Bob told some crazy story of why he was put in this place with me. Bob said that he used to be an attendant of the head of this place. This boss, named Alfred, supposedly, supposedly placed him in here because of a tiny little mistake. What does that mean? What's going to happen to me? Without warning, a group of military men took Bob to the building behind the guillotine stand. At midnight, I'll sneak out of here to see him. I've been hearing that anyone taken to that building never comes back. On top of that, there are these really large plastic bags constantly being removed from that place. I better pray for Bob. I was wrong. I shouldn't have gone there. What is going on in there? All I could hear was some insanely creepy laughter and the sound of Bob screaming. I don't know what to do. I can't stop thinking about it. Is that going to happen to me? I, I can't let it. I just can't. Since my last entry, all of my fellow inmates have been taken to that building. I know that I am next. It's obvious that they are all here to be used as Alfred's guinea pigs. There's no way out. What am I going to do? Oh, that sucks. Okay, we're... I'm waiting for these guys to come come back to life. I think they will come back as soon as I find something of importance down this way. 
Oh, there's more bullets. Oh, and there's... It looks like I'm gonna get surrounded by enemies soon. Oh! Get up. Okay, uh... Combine. Okay, let's uh, kill this guy. Okay, and then... Uh, try and get used to using this knife. Ah! Oh, there's another one behind me. Run. Okay, they're all surrounding me now. Guess I better use the gun. Combine. Ah! Get, get lost. Okay, what else is here? I think that's about it. Oh, look at this. An M100P. You've taken the M100P. How's my health? Well, okay, this is going to take me a, a long while to get used to the different control scheme. Okay, is there anything else down here? Zombie, that zombie's still laying there. Oh, look at this. <sighs> okay, start button. I gotta get used to using the start button. Okay, let's equip this. Since there's no more zombies, hopefully nothing gonna come back to life. Yeah, with uh, polygonal backgrounds, they can afford to use a lot of camera angles now. They appear to be toiletries. They've all been used and are worn out. Okay, we need to find another safe place. Okay. Now get used and get ready to equip this. I wonder if I could just slice them. No, he's totally dead. Okay. Start. Gun. Nope. Oh. Where did this guy come from? I guess I didn't take out take out all of them. Okay, so where do we go next? So we should go to that area where I didn't go yet. Unless I need to You know what? I think I should go back to where those where there's uh those naked zombies. Cuz there's something in that Oh. Where's the dogs? Okay, let's go back over here. Okay, I don't want to use these yet. I want to I want to save those for a boss battle or you know some enemies that are oh, Okay, let's go here. Okay, let's wait for them to get up. Oh. 
Okay. These can be used with the M9R, th no, M93R or Glock 17. American Wolf. Okay, um. Combine. Okay, I think we're doing good here. Just wait for these guys to get up. Okay. Knife. I'll entice these guys to get up. Oh. Haven't you taken enough damage? Oh, he's dead. Okay. Okay, let's take a look around this uh, place. Oh, I can't get to it. Nope. I think I've got to figure out a way to get to it. Okay, hold on. It's so dark here. Okay, let's take a look around here. Maybe we can move some stuff. No. Okay, oh wait, this looks like it could be moved. Nope. Well, I guess we can go save now. Okay, we've come this far. Is that another... Oh, mine's well. Accessing hard disk, please do not turn off your system. Okay. I'll save right here. Okay, the only thing we gotta do now is try to, uh... Try to get, uh, more ink ribbons. Okay, I seem to be doing fine. Whoops. Okay, let's go. Hopefully none of those zombies came back to life. Okay, yeah, there's not nothing here. Hopefully it stays clear. Okay, so where was I going again? Yeah, that's right. We're going to this other area here. I think I shall run past the dogs. Get off. Okay, oh, oh, close. Okay, I'm injured now. Either way, I was going to take some damage. Okay, how is my... Okay, I'm at caution right now. Okay, 
think these guys are both dead. What do I do here? Oh. No, not yet. Oh, here he comes. They just get up right away. Okay, he should be dead. What's this button? The switch controls the outdoor shutters. Push the switch? Yes. It appears to be locked. I must release the lock first. Okay, let's go this way before we get cut off. It's completely nailed down. Impossible to open. Apparently a dust box. Um, okay. We'll go to this door around the corner then. Nothing in this corner? All right. Please deposit any metallic items you have in the security box. Dang. Okay, it's gonna make me try to go through this point with no weapons, eh? Hmm. I wonder if I can lead the zombies here and grab my, my grab my stuff. Nope. Okay, let's take a look around here first. Construction materials are piled up here. Nothing seems to be useful. All right. Construction piled up here. Nothing useful. Okay. I guess I gotta leave my stuff behind. But first, let us use. Okay, um. Oop. Use. There's no need. Use. Okay, let's uh, try this. I think I better run through here. Please deposit any metallic items you have in the security box. Okay, I'm pretty sure that this is uh metallic. 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 I think the lighter No, the lighter the lighter the lighter counts as metallic. Fine. Okay, we must run. The zombies are gonna come. Nope. What? There's nothing here. I guess this is a different item box. Okay, what is this place? Hmm, flame rounds. I don't know if I can take these with me. I might have to go around. There's a whole bunch of stuff here. Various manufacturing devices are placed here. Ooh, look at this. F first aid spray. Definitely need that. User's manual. 3D Duplicator User's Manual. Our new product, the 3D Duplicator, duplicator consists of two parts. 3D Scanner Portion. This portion scans a 3D object. Simply place the material you want to have scanned into the tray of the scanner. The scanned object will be processed into 3D data, which will be transferred to the Duplicator Portion. Duplicator Portion. If you wish to place the material you wish to have converted on the machine, you can begin conversion based on the 3D data that was created by the 3D scanner portion. The conversation, no, the conversion will be executed at, with complete data accuracy. Result will be an object precisely true to the original. Hmm. So what is this? The control panel of the 3D scanner. There's an activation switch. Okay. Look at those sharp graphics. 
Please place the material you wish to have scanned on the scanner portion of this machine. I think I'm supposed to find... I think it's supposed to... I think I'm supposed to find a... Uh, an item that I will need to get out of here. It's got to be an important item, I'm guessing. What is this? Facts on the facility access application. Be sure to verify the content of the following facility access application form and add the applicant's name to the expected visitors list. Chief Prison Guard Paul Steiner. Hmm. I hereby apply for access permission for Prison Area D. Details follows. Visitor's name, Carl Grissom. Purpose of entry, carrying the follow following materials. New product sample from Metal Industries, CO, company, TG1. Various daily commodities ordered by the prison. Note, one will use a transportation truck, two, TG1 sample will be stored in a designated briefcase. Oh, that must be, that must be it and not uh, wreckage over there. So what is TG1? Management documents are stored here. Security monitors, monitors are lined up here. These may have been used to monitor the prisoners. Oh, it's Steve. Chris Redfield. What are you doing here? Chris Redfield. Is he a relative of yours or something? You mean my brother? Ah. Your sibling. Well, it seems your brother is under surveillance by Umbrella. What? I've got to contact Leon and tell him to let my brother know he's being monitored. It's a good thing I have access to an outside connection from here. Well, that file shows the latitude and longitude of this place. <laughs> Why don't you send your brother the coordinates and ask him to come help? Thanks. I'll do that. Hey, I was just kidding. There's no way he could get here, even if he is your brother. Yes, he can. I'm sure of it. No way. He won't come. You'll just end up disappointed if you rely on others. Believe me, I know. <laughs> what a whiny. What was that all about? <clears throat> the voice actor just comes off as real whiny. You could you could definitely tell just by by his line there that uh, he's been let down in the past. He's been real whiny about it. What is this? Oh, nice! Take the hawk emblem. What about this? Okay, I guess nothing else here. The email to Leon has already been sent. Okay, she's still in touch with Leon. Lock release device. Push lever up. No. Nope. And ink ribbon. We got three this time. Okay, I'm not gonna use it just yet. Yes. The door is being held by something. It can't be opened from this side. So the lock release. Okay, so we released the lock. No, just uh, I think we just need to get out of here now. I wonder if we can use this inf indefinitely. Oh yeah, that's right. We need. Okay, let's take a look at this here. Check. Um, check. Hawk emblem. We need to take this out. An emblem carved with a hawk symbol. It appears to be made of pure gold. So gold is a metal. 
I'm gonna have to leave this here. Okay, um... Actually, I'm supposed to... I think I should use this. Use. basically a 3D printer. The data has already been prepared already. Uh, then, uh, an auto-duplicator. If the materials are set, I can restore this object. Uh, what the heck do I use then? Material says... What the? Okay. What else do I do? I don't know what else to... I think I need to find something else. I think I may need to come back later or something. Okay, um... I wonder if I can take the ink ribbon. It shouldn't, it shouldn't be all metal, right? Okay, uh, let's take a look at our files again. File. Playing manual. User's manual. Okay, well, and product consists of two parts. Portion scans three object. Transfer the duplicator. If you wish to place material you wish to have converted on the machine, you can begin conference based on three. Blah, blah, blah. The execution. Okay. Okay, so, what am I missing here? What materials? I can restore the object. Hmm. What am I supposed to do here? Hmm. So I've been sent here to find something to find something that I need to take back with me, but I can't. Let's see, let's take a look at the map. Hmm. The shutter lock has been released. Save your progress? No. Didn't do anything yet. Okay, so I, I don't know what to do here. Okay, I want to restore the object. How do you do this? Okay, so the product is a 3D duplicator, two parts. The portion scans a 3D object. Place the material. You want to have scanned into the portion of scale the trainer scanner. Scan object will be processed to 3D data, which will be transferred to the duplicator portion. Okay, if you place the material you wish to have converted on the machine, you can have begin the oh, okay, I think I need material. Ooh, I don't have material though. I think I need to find material first. Okay, where what where where's the material? It's not here. Hmm. But very peculiar. Please deposit any metallic item you have in the security box. Okay, we'll have to come back here, I guess. 
Okay, let's um, use. I think the first aid spray counts, but I'm going to see if I can get away with it. Nope. Please deposit any metallic items you have in the security box. Okay, let's see if we can get away with the ink ribbon. Nope. This game is making things difficult for us off the bat all right no ink ribbon then okay what we will do is I'm gonna find whoops okay I'm gonna make a run for it. those zombies are probably gonna come through nope hmm okay let's take a look around here construction nothing to be useful All right, let's go this way. Okay, let's take back our stuff here. This lock is... Yes. Oh, zombies. More zombies. Okay, let's go back in and out so that way things are a little... a little bit calmer. Oh man, this game already feels like... It's like this game was made for people... Oh, Made for people who have beaten three and two, no problem. Okay. Oh. Whoa. Okay, that didn't do anything. out of bullets what is this extinguisher oh, okay I know what this is used for now okay, let's take care of this guy first Dead. Okay. Let's take a look around here. Okay, I know where to go now. I just gotta just gotta try survive now. Combine. I wonder if there was any bullets or anything in there. I don't know if it's worth it to. Okay, we gotta make a run for it. Get past these dogs. Run! Oh, close. So far, so good. There's new zombies here. Oh, man. Let me see. Let me guess. Ah, they're back here. Well, I guess it's, uh... Use this last last bullet here. Time to use the machine guns. Can 
I get back up? Okay, I hear one more zombie. Oh, that must be him. Oh, here he comes. I'll let him up here first. Okay. Ah, okay. Use. Okay, let's see what this is here. What do they give us? Okay, check. Hmm. Oh, it has one of those things. There's a button. Push it. Yes. Hmm. TG1 was inside the briefcase. There's also an explanation document for the special alloy, TG1. Okay, thank you for your continued support and for using our products. This time, we have gathered our most advanced technologies and have successful, succeeded in creating the unique anti-metal detection alloy, TG1. Cannot be detected by any metal detectors, cannot be pictured by retro, or no, row and row and, row and gen, geno, genography or something like that, at the immigration check. Lightweight yet durable. We plan to develop various weapons utilizing this innovative new alloy. We have enclosed a sample for you to review. We look forward to hearing from you regarding possible business opportunities. Middle Industries Co. Chief Development Plan Carl Redhill. Okay, so this is what we need to get that, uh, what do you call it? That, this is the second part for the duplicator here. Empty extinguisher. Check. Hmm. It's an empty extinguisher. I must fill it with the extinguishant before I can use it. Okay, so it's reusable. Okay, so we have guns here. Just gotta get out of here. Make a quick run back to that duplicator place. Make a... Uh, make a copy of that coin. Oh. Okay, get out of the way. Is he dead? Okay, let's slice him up here just to make sure. Okay, he's dead. I wasn't, I was hoping to, I was hoping to keep these guns unused and, oh, let's make a run for it. Outrun these dogs. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> they got close, but uh, no. Oh, I gotta take care of these guys now. I wanna take a look inside here. So, while I, since I'm using my guns now. Hmm. What is this? What is this? Padlock key. Nice. We have a quick way to... What is this? There's an indentation on the indigo blue plate. A guillotine covered in blood. It seems that there is some fresh blood on it. That's, I don't know, that's a scary way to go out. Because if you ever read about up on any about anybody getting their heads cut off, the the head stays alive for a few minutes. Like, who knows how long that feels like to the conscious mind? I just, that's scary. Fresh blood is stuck to the wall. 
a person might have been tied to the pillar. Like the only thing I can think of that would be, if, if I lack a word, blissful about getting your head cut off. Like, like if you get your head cut off, I wonder if your if your brain releases a a crazy amount of endorphins or something like a dopamine, and you just feel this bliss of, while you're dying or something. I don't know. Like anybody who's got their head cut off can't exactly tell you what they go through. You know, because you can't speak. You can blink. But I would imagine it would be very disorienting. Please deposit any metallic okay, and... Okay, and uh, um, that's kind of, kind of a creepy subject to talk about, but I'm going to just leave it at that for now. But all this stuff here, let's see. TG1. Combat knife. Oh. And, uh, I forgot to put in my lighter. Okay, let me switch. Please deposit any metallic item you have in the security box. Okay, um... Oh, no, wait. There we go. Now let's make a run for it, just in case the zombies decide to break through. No, we're still fine. Can I get my stuff here? I want to get this stuff here. Oh, yes. Okay, let's grab this for now. I'm going to go save. Just in case, like, if I... Like, if I get my... TG1... Um, Eagle coin. And I can imagine that... Uh, what do you call it? That's when the zombies will break through. Okay. Accessing hard disk, please do not turn off your system. Okay, I think I can save this one here. Prison observe R. Cool. <clears throat> I had like half a pot of coffee earlier and I got some crazy anxiety just I, uh, what do you call it? I was wondering why I was feeling anxious for no reason. And I realized I drank like half a pot of coffee. Didn't kick in till like two, three hours later. Okay, let's see. Yeah, coffee's not a good thing to, whoop. Oops, it's not what I need to put away, you know? Actually, I think I should put this away. Put that in there for now. And. Oh, okay. And then we'll use. There we go. Look at that. 3D printing. Duplication complete. Now we got a copy. Take the special alloy emblem. Yes. Okay, I think we're... Oh, no, here they come. Here they come. Okay, I'm going to make a run for it. Oh. Oh, ah, get off. Get, get off. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's take this stuff here. Okay, let's get let's get the hell out of here. I think we can Okay, let's go. This guy's still alive. I guess I didn't finish him off. Well either way he's we'll just leave him alone. Okay, can we unlock this here? Lock from the other side of the padlock. Okay. Okay, let's 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 get out of here. Ah, get off! Oh, stupid dog. Move. Oh. 
Come on. Oh, get off. Ah, stupid dog. Ah, he's in the way. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay, I'm still fine. I want to get rid of. I want to get rid of this padlock key. I think I can re-enter and sneak this way. There we go. All right. Now to mow down some zombies. It's so dark in this game. Okay, let's see here. Hmm. I think there's a door that I missed. Well, we'll leave that for now. Okay, um, let's see. I just want to make sure these guys are dead. They should be, they should be cuttable if uh, they're still alive. Okay, equip, use. There we go. Hopefully, hopefully we can find find a save room. Okay, let's use this for now. The door has been completely, completely destroyed. Hmm. Anything this... Oh, look, I see some bullets. I cannot proceed from this side. Okay, I guess I get it from this side then. I'm expecting something to walk out of, walk into frame here. Yes. Combine. There we go. Can switch back to our guns now. But first, I guess we can equip that. I wonder what's up with that emblem on here. Like there's that there's this some some chick holding a, a spear and there's like fire wings. I don't know what that's all about. Just a, some just something to fill to take up space I guess. Like they're designing this game and like hmm we need to put something there. It looks too empty. I know we'll put an emblem there. Okay I think I need to push this this way. There we go. Okay, I think that's how we do it. This is how we do it. Some old 90s throwback hip-hop to you. I don't know if it was hip-hop or R&B. No, I guess not. R&B is a little more uh, soulful. The entrance has been completely sealed. It's impossible to pass through here. Okay, let's climb up here. Climb. Jump down. You know, this really does feel like a next generation Resident Evil game. There's just a lot of camera following around. Like, I'm playing the 
Resident Evil 1 remake, and that feels next gen, next gen, but this, oh. Okay, we'll use what we can with this one here. Want some more? Ah! Okay, I'm still fine. But I do have one more bullet, though. I think these barrels are explodable. We'll let these zombies get close, and I shall blow them up. I like that. There's a zoom in and a zoom out. Go ahead, keep coming. Just gonna get to a safe distance and shoot these barrels. Ah! Okay, that's not working. I guess I can explode those barrels. I guess these guys are dead. I mean, like, they they seem to get up almost right away if they're still kicking. It is securely closed. I cannot open it. Whoops. There's a door here. Is it a save point? Oh, I hear dogs. Okay, let's take a look at our map again. Military training facility. Okay, um, we will check that out. I'm, right now, I'm just trying to look for a save room. A safe room. Oh, great. Okay, might as well. Let's go back to the uh, military training and let's just take care of that dog there. Seems to be a lot of dogs everywhere. Well, I guess that's what we have these guns for. Kill some undead zombie dogs. There we go. And they don't sound like monkeys. Okay, let's take a look at the map here. Okay, there's a couple of ways to go about here. This door looks like it's locked, but let's see why it's locked. It seems to have stopped on the lower floor. I can't use the elevator. Okay. And what is this? Oh! Ah! Made me you made me miss. What is this? Bow gun arrows. Not right now. I will keep in mind that they're there though. Okay, let's go this way. Let's check out what's on the other side. It's locked from the other side. Okay, I guess it's time to go inside then. I hope I can find some some more green herbs so I can safely use the one in my possession hmm everything on this island is powered out a card reader silver in color let's take a look at this place here Is that a green plant? Oh yes it is. Red herb. Excellent. Whoops. I guess this is the green herb. This was made by breeding the herb from Raccoon City. 
Oh yeah, that's right. These are Raccoon City only herbs. Check. Okay. Whoops. Combine. Yes. Now we got potent herbs. Okay, let's take a look around here. What is this? Bowgun arrows. Okay, we, or we, I gotta find a safe room first. A trunk room, at least. Security box room. Please let, please tell me that this is it. Oh, this feels like one. The map of this building is shown on the monitor. It seems I can print it out. Yes. Do so. Take the training map facility. Yes. The facility, fac training facility map. All right. Oh! Stupid zombie. Almost got me. There's more of these. But I don't have a bow gun, though. Okay, he's dead. They don't take their time. Whoa! I'm yellow caution now. Hmm, green herb. Okay, where is... I'm looking for stuff here. It's quite a mess. Nothing useful here. It's quite a mess here. Okay. It, it is secured with a simple lock. Okay, I don't have a lock pick either. Where is the safe room in this place? In this game, I should say. It's a storage warehouse. It's locked. It seems I need a special key to release the lock. Hmm. Okay, let's check the... Uh... Okay, there's nothing there. Hmm. Yeah, I had a feeling... No, I thought I had a feeling that this was a safe room, but it it is not. Okay, so there are many more rooms in this place here. Palace 1, first floor. Military training, first floor. I need to find a safe room. I don't know where to go. Okay, I guess the, the only thing I can do is just keep checking rooms here. What's this? Card reader, silver in color. It's electronically locked. Okay, he must be dead. A vending machine. It's broken. I'm not thirsty right now. There is nothing of interest. Oh. Nothing of interest, nothing of interest, nothing of interest. Nothing of interest, nothing of interest. Oh, I think there's a door over here that I can... Okay, dirty towels are stuffed inside. Oh, there's a zombie right here. Oh. What's in here? It's another bow gun arrow. We will come back for these. There's another thing here. Did I miss the bow gun somewhere? Nothing of interest. There's a lot of bow gun arrows to find. Maybe this guy has. No. <clears throat> ah! I think 
it's time to use this thing. A sauna. There's a lot of hot air inside. Sorry to have disturbed you, but, uh, you're a zombie. Okay, there's water dripping. I might have been used, it might have been used until recently. Might have been used often until recently. Okay, let me guess, there's something in here. A valve is attached to the water pipe. Shut the valve? Yes. Oh, there's something here. The key with tag. Okay, let's see, what did, what is this? Let's check it out. Hmm. A small key, uh, a small key made of steel with the word storage. Nice. What is this? This device seems to control the water current. It's broken. Okay, I guess there's nothing more to this, this place here. I think I should start collecting these bow and arrows here. Like, I'm relying on my twin guns here, but it just... It feels like I missed, uh... I might have missed the, uh... I might have missed the bow... The air gun. The air gun. The bow... The crossbow. I grabbed from there already, and there, and there. I need to find a, a safe room. It's been a, it's been an hour, almost an hour and a half already, and I haven't found one yet. Okay, let's. Okay, there should be one around here. Yes. Unless they don't have them in this game. Okay, I have 150 bow and arrows, but I don't know where the bow gun is, the crossbow. Maybe I will find it in this storage locker. Okay, if I go this way... There's a, there is a locker here that looks like it can be searched, but I can't search it. It won't let me. Hmm. Okay, so let's, um, let's use the key on this thing here. Please be a crossbow. Yes. What is this? The bow gun powder. Hmm. Check. This is a gun pow this is gunpowder for a bow gun arrow. I wonder, I wonder. Okay, hold on. I'm going to take a quick look online. 
I need to see if I missed it, because if I do, I'm going to have to make the... Because I'm running low on my double machine guns here. Okay, uh, Code Veronica... Oh, co not coffee. Code Veronica X walks through... Um, actually, I should type in... Was it Bowgun? Check. Bowgun location. Second floor in the military... Okay, I'm very close by. Alright, so I don't have to make a... I don't have to make a... I don't have to backtrack out to the courtyard again, or whatever that place was called. Okay, let's go upstairs. Hopefully there's a safe room up there. A save room. Oh, okay. No loading screen. Okay, where, where do I find this room? It's probably not here. Maybe up here? I have a feeling that room further up to the left, upper left there, that little nice rectangle room is probably, probably the save room. Okay, this door is locked. I know that it's, the doorknob is missing. I can't open it. Might as well go through this one. And we shall clear whatever zombies we see in the way. Probably gonna come. Okay, stationary and related uh, supplies. There is nothing useful here. Hmm. Okay. It's too dark to see inside. There's nothing useful here. Document. You can't take any more items. Well, that sucks. There is a file. A memo on the pass number. The emergency door lock system in the biology... Uh, the biology... Uh, biolo how do you say that word now? I forgot how... Biolog biolog biology experiment. Biology. Biology experiment room can be released with a four-digit pass number. I had an air fort there. I couldn't... I couldn't pronounce it for for a bit there. I hope you haven't uh, forgotten about that already. I have just received an order from the system administrator requesting us to change the pass number periodically. What bothers me is that you often lose important memos, pass numbers, or even chemicals. So in an attempt to solve that problem, I came up with an idea. You know the red human skeleton picture at the back of the biology experiment room? I have decided to use the number signed on the picture as the pass number. You just happen to lose the memo, just look at the picture. Well, I don't think you would ever need to use the emergency emergency pass number any anyway. But just in case, now you know, take it take it easy, Mr. Careless. Okay. I'm going to have to use this cuz I can't I want to I want to get rid of these here. I want to get rid of these, but uh I also want to move this out of the way too, but there's just Ah, okay. No, no, no point. Okay, there we go. We need this. At long last, we have the bow gun equipped. We'll leave our machine guns for whenever. Uh oh. Excuse me. Oh, he's still alive. Well, something killed him. There appears to be no one around. A red picture is hanging in the back. I can't see the number from here. The emergency door locking system activating. The door says bio... Experiment room. Abnormal error, I can't enter the pass number. 
It's a blood stain. Were they conducting animal ex experiments here? They were they were testing lipstick products on monkeys. Shame shame on them. Okay, let's see here. Where do I go from here? Hmm. Okay, it appears that I have no no more places to go in this in this area. Well, I guess we'll have to move on ahead. Action roll. Okay. I guess there's no other place to go but um, back outside. Look at that. She's not even rotating. I mean, like she's, she's rotating, but she's not moving. That's a little wonky. We need to find a room, a safe room very, very quickly. I'm not used to, uh, yeah, I'm not used to going this long without a, sa a safe room. with this thing. with this thing here. Okay, I'm still fine. Oh. Feels like animal cruelty. <laughs> okay, take the Navy proof. I guess so. I think we need this. Whoops. Okay, I think this goes back out. Let's take a look at the map. Okay, let's go to the palace first. Okay, let's take a look around here with the lighter. Oh, look at this. Ah. Use it now? No. Thank goodness they give you the option. Hmm. Okay, I'm just going to take a look around here. Nope. We'll just go inside.
I really need to find a, uh, a safe room here, around here. Bullets. Probably can't take it right now. Can't take any more items. You want to reload your gun now? Hmm. Security lock system is active. Enter an employee ID to activate the unlocking device. Please enter your ID number. Escape. Oops. Ah, I was trying to turn around, but I was using Resident Evil 3 button layout. I'm trying to use square. Okay. There we go. Nothing useful. Okay, this door is locked, obviously. Electronically. Come on, save room. What is this? What is this? Can't take any more items. Of course I can't. I can't. There seems to be no no room to save. Can't take any more items. Yep. Yep. Establish that. Water wave broken. Ah, come on. Oh, man. I'm gonna die. Okay, map. I guess I gotta go to the second floor. I seriously need a save room. I have no... I have no way of getting rid of these items. This game is friggin' hard already. Throw me a bone, Capcom. Come on, let me save. Please be a save room, please. It's been an hour and 41 minutes already. Finally. Was this too much to ask an hour ago? <laughs> Alright, let's see. Yeah, I'm complaining too much, I know that. I've, um... Uh, it's just that I, it just feels like I, sh I shouldn't have worked so hard just to get here. I almost died multiple times. Well, not almost died, but it's just that... Getting dangerously close, and if I died, I would have lost at least 45 minutes of uh, time here. Okay, professional books all are lined up here. Handgun bullets, yes. What's this here? Secretary's note. For years I have pa no, four years have passed since I began serving Sir Alfred. He doesn't trust anyone. Even though I am his attendant, I am still strictly prohibited from entering his private house. What is his problem anyway? They say he lives with his twin sister, Alexia, in his private house on the hill. Occasionally, I've seen someone standing by the window of the house. It might have been Alexia, whose extreme beauty is often talked about. I once asked Sir Alfred about this, but it only enraged him. Even though I am his attendant, he will not show me any lenience. If I ask about her again, I could put my life at risk. After all, it is a mystery why he so desperately tries to keep a private life, his private life with Alexia's secret, Robert Dorson. He's... It almost sounds like he's overly possessive of his sister. For innocent reasons that uh, he... Um, pro might be for innocent reasons that he uh, doesn't want anyone to take his sister away, who he uh, gets his all his attention from. Or, you know, it could be the incest thing. There's evidence that this shelf has been moved. Okay, let's, let's move it this way. Let me guess, this is a key card? ID card, nice. Oh, yes, we need a green plant for sure there's another one there was another one downstairs uh, 
outside I couldn't really use. There we go. Okay, is there any other memos on here that I need to read through? No? Okay, let's grab this thing here. Ink ribbon. Got three. Okay, actually, let's take a look at this navy, navy proof thing first. Okay, check. Navy proof. Hmm. A hex shaped stone object. A picture of a submarine is carved on it. I'll have to put this away for now. Okay, and then I'm gonna put the knife away too. Combine. And then I wonder do you use this or combine? Check. Bowgun powder. Combine. Oh, look at that. Wonder if I can. Okay, I can switch them back if I want. Okay, yeah, we'll keep that. But for now, we're gonna save. Yes. <clears throat> See, I haven't saved since the prison, but that was a that was a long time not to save. Okay, let's put this away for now, and let's go grab some of that stuff that we're that we couldn't get to. Whoops. Stupid buttons. Get out of here. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's go. Let's go do some item collecting and unlock these doors here. Okay, anything around here? I wonder if I should take the knife for that bat room. Cuz it looks like there's there was some stuff there that I could use. Okay, let's grab the. Uh, that's the first thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go, gonna go mess around with those bats. Okay, we'll go over here. We'll go outside, grab that green herb, so that way, whatever damage I get from the bats, I could just use the green herb right away. Okay, let's go take these bats on. Ah. Okay, we're still fine. That's good. Now let's grab the first aid spray and let's explore this area properly. Dura, dura, dur, dura, dur, 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 aluminum case? It gave me a dur moment here. Okay, such some weird word. Okay, check. Hmm. It's secured by a simple lock. I could open this if I had a lock pick. Well, that's too bad. We don't. Okay, let's see if there's anything else we need to grab. Can't take any more items. Oh. Okay, yeah, that's right. 
Okay, let's go back to the room. Safe room. <clears throat> I know I dealt with crows before, but never bats. You think in a haunted mansion in Resident Evil 1 you'd be dealing with more bats. Okay, knife. I think I'll put the first aid spray away for now. I'll put this away too. And then... Yeah, we'll leave it at that. Okay, let's go coll collect some more stuff. This toilet is made out of marble. They really went out of their way to make everything look really dark in comparison to whatever light source is around. The waterway is pipe, piping is broken. I mean, like, it works in, in Silent Hill, but uh, in Resident Evil game, you're, I'm so used to seeing where how the room looks like. But with Silent Hill, they kind of had uh, re they had the reason because everything was everything became all like a hellish lands landscape, and um, yeah, it was just part of the the world. Like there was no electricity in the dark world. Okay, let's see here. Let's take a look at this card. Umbrella. Okay, ID. Is NTC 0394. Okay. Security lock system is active. Enter employee. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so it was NTC, right? So NTC 0394. Enter. ID verification in progress. Please wait. Yes. The security lock system is deactivated. The ID card is no longer useful. Discard. Oops. Okay, let's take a look at the map here. So that door is unlocked, but... Okay, there's a couple of doors up here that I didn't... That I checked already. I didn't check the... There's a door up here I didn't take a look, but I'm going to see if it's... If it needs a key or something. It's locked. Silver crest is carved here. Okay, let's go through this door now. Wait, am I ready to go move on? I believe so. Zombie. Okay, reload. Let's grab this here. Okay, they're both dead. There, I hear another one. Ah! Ah, get off. Great. Okay, I think I'm still fine for now. 
get up. Follow me. You dead? Yes, you are. Okay, let's take a look at our map here. Okay, there's two doors that are locked. I'm gonna take a look at this. Silver Crest? Yes. Okay, I can go through this one, but let's take a look at this. Gold Crest. Okay, so a silver and gold. Hmm. What is this? Ah! Oh. Didn't mean to leave. I was trying to look at the stuff on the wall there. Hmm. A projection screen is down. The projection screen is down. Okay, let's take a look around with this stuff here. More handgun bullets. A model fighter airplane is displayed here. Virtual visual references are placed here. War seems to be the primary theme. Model ba battleship is displayed here. Two magnums are displayed here. Oops. What about this one here? Two handguns are displayed. Okay, what about this one here? Combat knives are displayed here. Okay. What about this? A jewel modeled after an ant is displayed here. There's a button below. Yeah, yes, let's push. What is this? That must be Alfred and his sister, his twin sister. They're being sadistic. Okay, that looks a little too intimate. If it was my sister, I'd be like, what the hell are you looking at? Or else I'd be like, you got a booger in your nose, you know that? No, no, no siblings give each other the lovingly deep look in their eye like that. It's disgusting. It's gross. You know, it's one thing that people who... Who are into like those people who are into incest they don't those are the type of people i think would don't have a brother and sister anyway weird topic i know take the steering wheel yes guns from many countries are displayed here decorations are on display here okay what, is, what else do we have archaic military items are stored here what is this a pair of gold l lugers are displayed here. Take them? Yes. You've taken the gold lugers. Lugers. Uh oh. I guess I can't take them yet. Oh no. Okay, let's put them back. There's a space for the gold lugers. Uh, yes. I guess they cook you alive if you try to take them. Crisis averted. If only we can take these... What is it? These... Lo no, those are pistols. Magnums. Okay, I guess we'll need to come back here for later, but... Okay, steering wheel, let's take a look at this. Hmm. 
It's a steering wheel used to steer a ship. It has an octagon, octa-shaped projection. Am I supposed to put this somewhere in the room here? Or does this go elsewhere? Okay, let's get out of here. Um, let's take a look at the map. Hmm. Where does this go? Suddenly the lights are on now. I guess the lights were on. It's just that... I, I don't know if the lights were on before. It just feels like it's a little more brighter here. Hmm. Where do I go next? Feels like I need to do something with this, um... Feels like I need to do something with this, uh... Thing here. But I don't know what. Professional line books are up here. Hmm. Navy proof. I wonder if I'm... I wonder if this has something to do with, uh, what's... In that room there. Hold on. Okay, check. Hex, uh, submarine. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna take this with me and we'll just go explore the place a little bit. Wait, this looks like a note. Well, anyway. Um... Yeah, so we'll figure out uh, what to do with these items in the next episode. And I hope you enjoyed today's episode as much as I enjoyed making it. And uh, there's a sentence I haven't said in a while. But anyway, so we're going to continue this... Um, we're going to continue this uh, playthrough in the next video and we will catch you tomorrow. So until then, we'll see ya. Have a good one. Bye-bye.